Hey everyone, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. I'm Old Gamer Joe here with another review today as we are looking at Hot Shot Racing on PC Steam. This game was developed by Sumo Digital and Lucky Mountain Games and it was published by Curve Digital. This is an arcade style racing game releasing as of September 10th of 2020. It will be priced normally at $19.99 but at the time of this review there is a bit of a discount that will bring it down to $15.99. So if you're watching this review early, do take advantage of that. Sumo Digital is a company that has worked on some pretty large AAA properties in the past. I knew the name looked a bit familiar. It turns out they worked on the Sonic Racing series, which I always thought was pretty fun, actually. It's nice to see them here involved in a bit of a smaller scale project that retains a lot of the mechanics this developer is known for. This isn't a zany kart racer though, as we'll get into later, I did try to play it as such for a little while there, but this is definitely more of an arcade style racer that reminded me of some of the great Sega arcade experiences of the past. Virtual racing comes to mind here in both the look and feel of this title. You have a decent variety of gameplay options available, including a Grand Prix mode featuring four different tours containing four races each. There is also a standard single race cup, which includes a cops and robbers option that has you trying to collect the loot, or if you're playing as a police officer, trying to convert your opponents into cops. There's also a drive or explode mode here, where you have to outlast your opponents by not letting off of the gas, and you can enjoy every mode with the exception of time trials with up to four players in split screen, which I thought was a really nice addition and to go a step further the online mode will actually allow for up to eight players so you have a total of 16 racetracks here and there are also three different difficulty modes to go through in the grand prix as far as the mechanics go, again, this is a pretty simplified racer. You only have a few buttons to worry about. Obviously, you'll need to keep the pedal to the floor by accelerating, but this game heavily relies on both drifting and boosting. Drifting around corners will allow you to earn extra turbo, which you'll likely need against the game's fairly aggressive AI, particularly on higher difficulties. Each of the game's different characters comes with their own set of cars in this game, as well as different suits and cosmetics for those cars that you can unlock by earning currency. You can earn this currency throughout most of the modes in the game. These cars can vary a bit from one another with statistical advantages and some disadvantages too. One vehicle may have better drifting for example but less speed or acceleration and I thought the game did a pretty good job of giving players options that best suit them. The characters themselves they do feel like a little bit of a missed opportunity here though. You can learn just a paragraph or so about them and that's buried in the unlockable section of the menu. But outside of their country of origin, they are lacking any real personality and that kept me from feeling attached in any meaningful way. As for the racing itself, of course that's the most important aspect of an arcade racer, it mostly feels great. Though I will say the drift does feel quite sensitive in this title, and that seemed to be regardless of which car I chose. I eventually did get a feel for it, but it is quite touchy and it might take you a while to master. I think part of my problem was I initially approached the game as more of a kart racer. My brain was thinking I would be doing zany power slides and hurling power-ups, but that's not the case in Hot Shot Racing. This isn't a realistic racing sim in any way whatsoever, but it's also not a Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing style game. Overall though, despite having to get used to that drifting mechanic, the controls felt sharp and responsive here, and after the initial learning curve, I was swerving and bursting past the aggressive AI in stylistic fashion. Graphically, Hot Shot Racing looks stellar in motion with a smooth, low-poly aesthetic that is again reminiscent of classic Sega arcade racers. I think the tracks look great in this game, as do the different vehicles. Don't expect a ton of detail here, but in motion this can actually be a really beautiful looking title despite the simplistic approach. It is a shame that the occasional frame rate hiccup did spoil the party from time to time though. These were extremely random in my experience and they didn't happen very often, but when they did, they were really crippled and it took me out of the experience completely. Again, performance was mostly smooth and this seemed quite random, but hopefully this is something that will be ironed out in time for release as it was distracting when it would happen. I'm not talking about dropping down to like 45 frames per second here, I'm talking about a crippling 5 to 10 frames per second before the action would pick back up again. A little bit odd. Performance issues aside, Hot Shot Racing features a really great soundtrack with some high energy electronica and there's tons of driving techno beats depending on the track that's playing. You have an over the top announcer, you have the nice sounding skids and burnouts, pretty much everything you would want out of an arcade racer is present here. Pretty good presentation outside of those really unfortunate and frequent frame rate drops that I mentioned. 
At the end of the day, Hot Shot Racing is a fun arcade racing experience. When it comes to racing games, I never cared for realistic simulation, and I always preferred this style of game. The controls are really responsive here for the most part, though I would argue the drift is maybe a tad sensitive. The graphics look great in motion, though I was a bit frustrated to run into those frame rate spikes, despite having some really powerful hardware, and the soundtrack and effects are everything you would want out of an arcade racing experience. The only thing I was missing was the racing wheel, which I should probably get one of those at some point, but I ultimately had a great time drifting and crossing the finish line in Hot Shot Racing. So will you be shooting for first place in Hot Shot Racing? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button. Help us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box below. However you end up doing so, we thank you so much.